You are so full of yourself, Melanie, having a wedding in some fancy island. I'm not going to be a part of my sister's wedding. <laughs> the boat heading back is already gone. You realize that the ship is only here once a month. Huh? Trouble Busters! Blue waters, blue sky. It's incredible. Please answer me. I'm going to be having the wedding in three minutes. Are you heading over? Please come to the waiting room by 1 p.m. today. Also, I've written to you yesterday, but I'll tell you again today. The boat will be leaving tomorrow at 10 a.m. I feel like she's getting way too far ahead of herself. Seriously, she must have forgotten about the law that she's supposed to stay boring and humble. Should we just make her understand by skipping? I agree. We're here on vacation. We're not going to go to her stupid wedding. Hey, she's calling. Ignore. I know. My name is Melanie. I'm a 31-year-old that's going to get married to my kind fiancé, Mr. Allen, today. The wedding was set to be in a faraway island that's known for bringing happy unions, but... Uh, she, she won't answer. Is she still asleep? No, they're definitely reading my text, so they're up. Ugh. Why, 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 why? I told them time and time again yesterday. Alan, we need to start soon. The priest is starting the shadow box. Melanie, we need to start because the time is set in stone. Right. Afterwards, the wedding continued perfectly and both of us were sworn in as husband and wife. There was no indication they would be coming to the after party either. I was completely in the wrong for expecting them to respect my boundaries. Melanie, cheer up. Yes, thank you. You're never going to see them again, right? Yes, after today, we're going to be moving away to another country. I don't think I'll see my family too often. Melanie, I'm going to be by your side, okay? Yes, Mr. Allen. Aw, I wish I could find someone to tell me that. I didn't want this to happen, so I begged them to come. Whatever, I don't care. If they're not going to keep promises, then they'll have to deal with the repercussions. Oh, it's 1 p.m. Why didn't Melody wake us up, damn it? Hello, this is Melanie. You little shit, Melanie. Why did you leave us? Huh? What are you... I called you and texted you from the first thing in the morning yesterday, but you didn't answer. I tried time and time again to call. I don't know anything about that. I never got a call from you. Hmm? Can you stop lying? I know for a fact that I called you time and time again. The call history is there. You're just sitting there having fun in some random island when you're just Melanie. Where are you? I'm on the boat back home. Huh? The boat to go home has already departed. I texted you before we left, on the way there, after we got to the docks, and 30 minutes before the wedding started that there would only be a single ship that leaves the island a month. Huh? I didn't hear about that. Yes, that's why I texted you it every time. I know that telling you in person or over a call is pointless. If this happens, you just say that you didn't hear about it. But now you can't because I literally sent the texts and there are read receipts. You, you little? I've already thought of things against this. Oh, I've got it. Huh? What's going on? Something is so strange. Yes, you are strange. Oh, that's not what I'm saying. I didn't answer, I understand, to any of your messages. It's totally your fault for not double checking, huh? Ugh, how foolish. Huh? It's your mistake. You may have deleted the messages on your phone, but the messages remain on my phone. Huh? Of course they do. We've argued about the trip back time and time again, so I made sure to drive the point home. Dad just lied about hearing about it, and you just deleted messages and pretended it didn't happen. You're like a bad complaining customer. Oh, uh, th this little... I don't know what you want me to do by intimidating me. The ship is gone, so you're stuck there for a month. I can't stay here for a month. I don't know what you want me to do. I've given you a good amount of money, and you can use at least 5k on the credit card. If you don't act too crazy, you can easily survive for a month. No! I'm out of money, and we've already maxed out the code! Huh? So you don't have any money? W whatever the case, you need to send us money once you get settled in! Do it! 
What are you talking about? That cash is just going to be sent over on a boat. And the boat doesn't go there but once a month. How the hell am I supposed to live for a month without any money? I don't know. You're the one that ignored the messages. It's your own doing. Why didn't you wake us up? I don't even know where you are. How am I supposed to reach out to you? You could have looked all around the island or something. There are ways. No, there aren't. Besides, I gave you quite a bit of cash and my credit card too. It's insane that you guys already used it up. You need to pay off the credit card right now and make sure we can use it again. Yeah, then we can live for a month easy. Yeah, come on, sis. You guys seem like you just figured out a loophole, but I'm sorry to break it to you. That's a big no. What? Why? You're just Melanie. Actually, I'm not going to pay for the credit card. I only paid because I wanted to pay money for you during the wedding. I didn't hear about that. Of course not. I don't need to either. You're irresponsible for not telling us. I've pushed you time and time again to come to the wedding, but you didn't come. Who's irresponsible again? And besides, I don't need to tell you that I will not pay for you when I shouldn't be paying for you at all. Why? I'm not your sponsor. I spent the money because my groom said that it would be the nice thing to do, but I don't want to spend the money anymore. I'm not going to say pay me back, but... No, no shit. shit! I am also not going to be repaying you for breaking the promise. I'm not talking about that right now! You really are thinking about yourselves, aren't you? That's why I don't want to help you all either. Besides, there's something you should say before complaining to me, I think. Whatever the case, I'm going to my new home now. Huh? What do you mean? You're not going home? Unless there's a good reason, I'm not going back home. What about taking care of your parents? Please don't talk about it yourself. It's actually really, really embarrassing to listen to. Enough! You forgot all the gratefulness for us raising you! Yeah, you can talk to Madeline about that. Hang on! Wait! I can't live for a month with no money! I'm sure you could find some wild fruit on that very wild island. Not that I'd know. Please save me! I'm begging you! I can live on this island with this wild habitat! Afterwards, my family went through shifts to beg and complain to me that lasted for four hours. It didn't matter how much I told them the truth, they didn't stop saying things that were insane. I'm already on the ship though, so I can't do anything about it. They could beg and cry, but it wouldn't do anything. That didn't stop them though. They didn't know that they just lost something very important. I'm, in, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I am not going to forgive Melanie anymore. I'm going to make her pay soon enough. I'm starving. Where are we going to sleep today? What are we going to eat? Let's talk to someone and see if they'd be willing to help. Of course not. We can't even speak their language. Yeah, and I'm too embarrassed to talk to them. What? You're going to be shy when we're not even sure if we can stay alive tomorrow? Shut up! If you feel that way, you do it! Yeah, you're an adult, so you need to stop counting on your parents already. Okay, I'll do it, but even if it goes well, I'm not going to invite you to. Oh, uh, why would you be so mean? Because if I don't, you guys will have found a place to live without even working on it. I'm losing out. We worked hard to raise you, so you can do all that for us. What? That was an unconditional love? That's how you really felt? Shut up! This is an emergency! But, but, talking to the locals is pretty scary. But, we gotta figure out a place to stay, are we? Are there police or some kind of embassy or something? We can go there for help. Well, that's right. All right, let's look. Maybe that'll help things along. H how was it? I don't speak the language, so it's tough to get my points across. I think they gave me advice, but I don't know what they're saying. What are you doing? You're seriously weak when push comes to shove. You're like the Yankees when there are no outs and the bases are full. I've never learned anything other than English. That's because you made Melanie study everything. Every time Melanie uses foreign language, you say things like, I need to study soon too. I'm going to remember for next trip. I'll give it my all from tomorrow. It's all just talk. I'm busy every day. If you want to talk bad about me, how about you remember it, huh? 
Is your brain just for display? Don't push it on to me when you're the one that said you'd do it on your own. You said you would do it yourself, but you never actually do, so I'm sure you wouldn't have learned any foreign language even if you said you would. Huh? What's with that attitude? You always said you'd lose weight, too, but you never fixed your diet at all. Seriously? You're like some kind of fantastic for superhero! All that blubber! I know that you bought all those dieting goods and gave up! They're all hidden, too! Th this is not the time to be talking about it! Can we just stay at the police station or something? That's a no. They said no clearly in English, and apparently the police close up shop at 9 p.m. I don't think there are any cops except that old guy that I talked to. That old guy is the only cop? And closes up shop at 9 p.m.? What, what is, is some, some kind of, kind of old, old bookstore? bookstore? Wait, hang on. Does that mean we have to give up? What about the embassy? This is horrible. This is all because no one woke up to get on the boat back home. Like you're one to talk. You're just as guilty as us. You're, you're the, the worst. worst. You, you really, really are useless. useless. Ah, there are too many mosquitoes. I can't sleep. Shut up. If you don't go to bed, you're not going to be able to wake up tomorrow. Ugh, why is this happening? If we had just made the boat, we'd be eating and sleeping in a regular place. Uh, the bugs are everywhere. I want to sleep on a bed. I want to eat good food. Why? Why is this happening to me? The life on the island was full of troubles and people barely making by. They had no money, so they were almost rejected entry onto the boat, but they looked so beat up that... You don't need to pay. They ended up letting them, and the second that my mom and dad got home, they got a divorce. They cut ties with my sister, and the family that used to get along well broke it off. But this wasn't the end. None of them were able to contact their places of employment for two weeks, so they ended up getting fired. They wouldn't negotiate for charging their batteries that they had spent wasting their breath yelling at me. That horrible, how can we make her miserable mentality led them to their ultimate demise. I hope that this hell that they experienced will let them learn a thing or two. I, on the other hand, started living overseas and am going to be having a daughter next year. I'm going to overwrite the family experience with my new family. Let's keep our promises. Do not be late to trains, planes, or boats. Trouble Buster!